All of us are familiar about sleeping in a dark room. It allows us to sleep. As we sleep through the night, the cells within our body are repairing and healing. We get up, we feel refreshed, and we move on with our day. That is extremely healthy for our body. But what may surprise you is that sleeping in a dark room can improve longevity too. And it's that light, blue light or any light, that affects our brain. It affects the production of melatonin that's being secreted by our pineal gland. And melatonin is necessary for the sleep-wake cycle, for your circadian 24-hour rhythm. But melatonin also plays a tremendous role in detoxification of free radicals and antioxidant actions, bone formation and protection, reproduction, our immune system, and our cardiovascular system. So it's not only diet that causes clogged arteries or cardiovascular problems. And if you're not getting the correct sleep that your body requires, those organs, tissues, glands, and cells are gonna pay a price. So when we first get up in the morning, our cortisol levels are extremely high. And that's healthy, because we can start the day with a lot of energy. But at night, our cortisol levels are extremely low for the reason so we can get to sleep, so our body can produce more melatonin, so we can sleep deeply through the night and wake up nice and refreshed. And if there's too much light before you go to bed, through your smartphone, computer, your clock, or light making its way in through your curtains, or wherever it may be coming from, it's not going to allow the body to secrete the proper amount of melatonin to keep your body healthy and to allow you to sleep through the night. And if your cortisol levels at night are high and they stay high and they continue to stay high, and you're not sleeping properly through the night or even through the day, you're going to have more inflammation. Cortisol levels are going to increase. So what happens? The body goes through the fight or flight. The body secretes more sugars that's being broken down from glycogen. More insulin has to do its work. We become potentially more insulin resistant, pre-diabetic, or even more diabetic. And you will experience more mood changes and definitely much more depression. And it may sound elementary, but if you need to use a sleeping mask to cover your eyes so you can get a good night's sleep, that can make all the difference for you. And I realize that there are many people worldwide who work during night hours. And you come home, but please be aware, having darkness in your room is extremely important for good health. And it does help prevent inflammation because if melatonin is not present, you're gonna have more cortisol produced throughout your body and you potentially can have much more inflammation and problems. So the big question here is, does sleeping in the dark help prolong longevity? The answer is absolutely yes. So be aware, I hope this video really helps put things in perspective for you, your loved ones. Please share it with your friends and family. Leave your comments below, and most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.